Hi everyone and welcome back to Beverly Stoning Creations. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. I know I did. I enjoyed spending a lot of time with my family. And now we are getting ready for New Year's. So I know we only have a few days left before New Year's is here so I'm trying to get on top of things. I'll continue on with the Winter Wonderland theme after um, New Year's. So yeah. For this project I'll be painting this Dollar Tree candle holder black. Here's three candle holders that I glued together and used in a Halloween DIY. I even mentioned in the DIY that I'd be using these again um, in the New Year's DIY. So I'm just going to use this cheap spray paint from Walmart. I think it was 99 cents. I'll spray paint this black just like I did this. And I already have two other candle holders that's glued together and painted black already. So I'm going to spray paint this black as well. Okay, so meanwhile I'll show you how I'm going to decorate this candlestick holder. Here I have some gold bling from totallydazzle.com and I'm just going to cut three rolls of bling to cover each neck of each candle holder. Alright, so I'm done cutting my bling. So what I'm going to do is just hot glue this around the neck of each one of these candle holders. Keep in mind if gold and black is not your theme, then don't use gold and black. Use whatever color you want. You do not have to do my DIYs exactly the way I do. Make them your own. Take what I do and change the colors. If gold is not your color, then do silver. Just like that. So I'll go ahead and wrap some bling on the top and here and then come back. Okay, now that I'm done adding the bling to the next. So now I add some bling where the two candle holders connect. Here and then here. going to add some Mod Podge in here. And then add some glitter. I mix some gold and silver glitter together to get more of a gold champagne color. Now I'll just take one of my brushes and brush the mixture on. Then you want to go around the very top. Okay, so I'll let this dry and then come back and go on with the project. Okay, so while I'm waiting for this one to completely dry, we'll go ahead and start working on our taller uh, candlestick. The world is full of beautiful things. Now, later I might remove this with some nail polish remover, but for now I'm going to leave it. Now I'll glue the candlestick holders to the bottom of the mirror. Now because I want this permanent, I'll be using Gorilla Glue.
Now I'll add a few dots of hot glue to hold it in place until the Gorilla Glue sets up. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue around the neck of the candle holder just to help hold it in place but I'm not going to seal it off because I still want air to get in there and dry the Gorilla Glue. I'm going to use this paint as a weight to weigh it down while the glue sets up. Okay I'm back with my nearly completed stands. I have short, medium, and tall. All that I need to do now is add one row of black bling around the mirror of the taller one. And I'll be using this black mesh bling from totallydazzle.com. And if you're interested in purchasing some for yourself, I'll leave a link to her website in the description below. Next up, I have this piece of pan that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Next, I'll temporarily glue all three stands to this pan because I want to make it one piece because I'll be using this in my New Year's Eve tablescape. But if you want to make yours permanent, use some type of strong glue like Gorilla Clear Glue. Okay, so I'm done gluing everything together. Now, if you decide to use hot glue, be very careful when handling this because the hot glue does not create a really good connection between the candlestick holders and the pan. So be careful whenever you're moving this. Now I'm going to paint the base with this gold acrylic paint. Now I'll let the paint dry, come back and then add some gold glitter and Mod Podge to the base as well. And here's my finished triple layer stand. And I absolutely love it. I think it turned out gorgeous. And I'll definitely be using it for more events, holidays, and occasions to come. I want to apologize for putting this DIY out late. I'm sick with the cold but I'm still trying to get them out. I have one more that'll be out tomorrow, so stay tuned. And it'll be a DIY plate charger to complete this look. And then at the end of the DIY, I'll put my New Year's tablescape together. Okay everyone, this completes my DIY. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.